We have a short video of a 1979 trade wind, 25 foot, so it has a roughly a sort of 22 foot body. Body is actually very good on it. You've got a few dents down in the banana wrap there, which is common. And you're going to have a little bit of road rash here, which is where it's picked up some stones. But this basically will all polish out. All of this here, we've got to get off. This is where we've packed it up to stop the windows getting broken in transit. Got to get some white spirit on that, get it removed. It has the front awning on it, which appears to be in pretty good order. It has the full awning package, this trailer. It has glass, glass. There's glass throughout, which is again another important feature. Frame is looking pretty good. It has an electric tongue jack, which we'll be cutting off when we're doing the axle conversion, and we do have the keys. Again, a bit of a bonus these days with Airstreams. It has the outer awning here, which again is a Zip D, which is in pretty good order. And it has this nice deep window here, the original Airstream light there. We've had all the awnings out, they work. This hatch is actually missing, and we, I think we've got a replacement hatch on a different trailer. And you see all the mottling here on this, here, yeah, this is where the Basically the uh, varnish has come off and it's exposed itself differently. Someone's had a go at polishing it, not knowing what they're doing, but they haven't done any irreparable damage and it can be easily sorted out. It is an international model. And down here you can see you've got the original hubcaps, which are highly sought after, and we have four new tyres of the correct rating. Door is good, lock is good, works well, has the step, we'll get the step functioning. Coming around to the back, excuse the noise in the background, we're still working. Towards the back here, again very 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 few dents and knocks on it. Again these letters here are lovely if you basically strip them off, paint them, we spray them blue and then we put a ro foam roller over the top to highlight everything in silver again. They look absolutely fantastic. And that's the awning on the back. And there's this trailer actually came from Oklahoma and was actually on the road in 2012. When we bought it, it was actually in a warehouse having been put into storage for someone to restore. They never got around to doing it. I did discuss a small dent at the top there, as you can see. It's really out of your eye reach, so it doesn't really bother the trailer much. And have a quick look, see what's in there. We've got the original plastic liner for the boot. The boot is actually in pretty good order. And again, bodywork wise, she's very good. Nothing that won't polish out. It is going to take a fair few hours to polish. These are all the original rivets, but no dents coming through here. And again, we have got a little bit of water ingress in here, or delaminating here, of the inner window. The resolution to that, unfortunately, is you have to break the inner window to remove the liner. Again, awning on, awning on this side is in very good order. And the two battery boxes at the front here, which I haven't tried opening. So I probably won't do it whilst I'm on film. Maybe that's some time. Okay, there's not a lot in this trailer, because uh, it has been gutted out. But moving into the trailer here, it has been gutted. And the floor actually is very solid throughout. The walls need painting or relining from scratch as those are the options open to you. The floor at the back has been replaced, but very, very badly. So this will, included in the price, we'll take that rear floor out, have a look at the chassis, and basically replace it and do the job properly. Now having said that, there is no floor rot at all down by the door. This is normally where they rot really badly. And we don't seem to have any rot at all, a sign of damp. 
Let's go here. These end caps are normally painted. And you can see how much shade those warnings give. And that is our 1979 trade wind.